So here's the glycol chili that I made put together so far. Uh, old window AC unit, the cooler, and a temperature controller. I've got the skins back on the, the AC unit right now, so I can't kind of show you all the way inside. But let's see. You can kind of see there, it's been gutted. Fan that usually blows air out towards the room has been taken out. And this is all full. That's the evaporator. That usually, usually the air gets blown through that to cool it down or pull it through it and then blow it out in the room. That cools everything down. So that's dunked into the water there. I don't have the black hole in yet. But um, we've got the temperature controller. The sensor is here. That goes down into the uh, uh, stainless steel dip tube thing, thermal well. I got a little pond pump wave maker thing in there circulating the water around. Um, I will be putting glycol in here, uh, but I'm just testing it with the water right now. So I got this thing set for 45 degrees. It started off at 75 about 20 minutes ago. And right now it's at 53 degrees, so it's a little ways to go. When I normally use this, I'll probably set it to closer to like 30 to 25 degrees. Um, and then I'll stick a little, well the pump that comes with the temperature control system for the conical I just ordered will sit inside the glycol water mixture and then it'll have its own little temperature controller that will turn on that pump and pump cold glycol through a coil that'll be inside the fermenting beer. And so that'll turn on and off based on temperature needs. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I gotta do a little more organizing in this garage a little bit, but I got it on a little cart with nice little two-inch casters. And uh, yeah. That is it.